What's up guys, it makes me vibes here. Back with another video. I just wanted to talk about how to stop giving a fuck. Right? What does that actually mean? It's not that you are intentionally an asshole, but if you choose to be this you, what it means is that the only opinion that concerns you is your opinion. You don't have time to be worried about, you know, what the next person thinks of you. What they think of you is in their imagination. It's literally a figment of their imagination. And when you care too much, you get your feelings hurt. You do. You get your feelings hurt. And, you know, I used to be like that. Care what everybody thought of me. Moved how everybody wanted me to move. Ate this way, dressed this way, did this way. To try to gain people approval. Approval. And, you know, had I kept that same mentality... I still would have been home back in Louisiana with my with my mom, living with my mom, you know, at 25. So I had to switch that mindset and be like, no, I'm not caring with my parents. I'm not caring what my family say. I'm gonna do my own thing. They might not like it, but it's my life to live. Cause you only got one life. One. That's it. We just seen with the Kevin Samuels. Right. Uh, rest in peace to the Godfather. We just seen that. You can be here and presumably be too healthy. Right. And then the next day you're you're out of here. We only get one life, only one. And you don't know when your clock expires. So you have to live life on your own terms. As cliche as it sounds, you do have to be your own main character, like for real. You got to like, why do you care so much? OK, they, they talked about this. They said this. They spread it rumors. They, uh, uh, why do you why do you give a fuck? Why? You got to you got to you got to stop caring, man. You know, you don't have to do the things society wants you to do. You don't. You do not have to do that shit at all. Especially the. Okay, go to a four-year university. All right, come on, get a job. All right, come on, save, save for retirement. All right, retire, get started family. Da, 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 da. No, man, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. You don't have to settle down in your twenties. You can wait. Like you don't have to, you know, go out clubbing every weekend. You know, what I'm saying the things society wants you to do. You don't have to do those things, and you don't need a large group of people. I do a lot of things, you know, by myself and. I love it, man. As you've seen on my page, traveling, just going places, you know, by myself. You don't need a large crowd. You really don't. Learn to rock alone. Learn to enjoy your own company. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people who are so-called friends of other friends around and they're miserable. They don't like to be around them. They're gossiping. You know what I mean? So sometimes take it as a blessing. Okay, I don't have these many friends or I'm not like this. Take it as a, as a thing of like, I don't have to put up with the drama. You know what I mean? So it's like, why do you, why do you care to the point where you're hurting your own feelings? Because people are going to say something regardless. You can be, you can be a hundred percent perfect and they still going to have something. I'm talking to you, you, I'm talking to you. Stop giving a fuck because it doesn't matter at the end. It's your life. It's your life. And if you if you live it on other people's terms, you let other people choose your life instead of yours. Not only do you become a people pleaser and try to get their validation, but what happens is all throughout life, you always feel a lack of void that somebody didn't. You know, what I mean, you didn't get that approval. You see what I mean? So stop. Stop being a people pleaser. Stop trying to. No, do your own shit, man. I'm not just talking to. You know, the fellas, I'm talking to the women as well. Like, 
whatever the fuck you want to do go eat dress wear do that shit I'm gonna go by myself right now to the movies. Right now, I'm about to go to the movies by myself. Nobody in the front seat, <laughs> just me. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna watch The Northman again for the second time, just because I thought it was great. I did see uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse, thought it was okay, but I decided to go see The Northman again because I thought it was a great movie. But anyway, yeah, man, just fuck them right if 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 and i hate to be rude but well actually i don't i mean if you're not on mxb team then i don't need you in my life you know i don't so i, I only want to surround myself with not yes men but people who can try to understand me, people who get me not you know i'm just not trying to ramble here what i'm saying is at the end of the day Rock by yourself if you have to wear whatever. Just do your own thing. Be uniquely you and stop giving the fuck what people are saying. Because at the end of the day, they're not paying your bills. And that the great and that the great part is not like they're paying your bills and you did. You know what I mean? They're not paying your bills. They're not paying mine. So why do I give a fuck? Why do I care? Right. But that takes time and time and time of really kind of letting go doing shadow work and you know really pushing through to the other side when you really just you live your life in your own terms and people can see that authenticity you know they can see it in you when you you really doing your own shit you know and, and that's what i'm doing i'm carving my own lane and i'm just i'm living life and, and life is beautiful honestly it is it is awesome right now. I I can't complain. I won't complain. It's it's great. But I live I live life on my own terms. If I would have been that boy back in college, back in high school, where I seek their about approval, when other people were telling me, oh yeah, like you should go, and some of my family members were like, no, nah, like why are you telling us this? Don't leave us. You know, don't want don't want you to get to that next level. But I digress, and I get it. We all want to be liked. We all want to be, you know cared for we all want to be chosen in a sense but that's still seeking validation what is that validation going to get you you want to get to a point where you are not affected by the good or bad opinions of others you're not affected by all you receive praise you receive a good job good job that was great okay thanks and you keep it moving same with the conversely with the negative right what you perceive to be negative and you have to have thick skin going through this world today you have to have thick skin because people are cruel and harsh and you know they'll sell things to hurt your feelings but again when you get to a certain level where the good or bad opinions of others does not affect you in any type of way man you just you know you live life in your own terms and it feels amazing there's nothing that more i can say and just focus on yourself and worry about what you got going on not the next person you and slowly over time you, you start to care less because you realize at the end of the day we all bleed the same and you don't know when that clock is going to expire so you have to live every day like it's your last man seriously you really have to you have to i learned from a young age my father died when he was 44 45 very young right and and that affected me because i said you know what and i saw that i was like you know what i'm about to do everything skydiving i'm about to do it. all of my fears i'm about to tackle them and i don't care if anybody have anything to say because it's me i explore i love exploring my hobbies so like i'm i'm kind of getting into biking i might give me a bike soon um uh, been looking at some harley davidson's but and just be you because if anybody got anything to say, oh, well, who cares? Right? Who cares? All right, guys, it makes me out.